Slaughterhouse and crime. Due to the high stress job of killing distressed animals, the incidence of disease, injury, accidents, and fatalities are notoriously high among factory farm and slaughterhouse workers. Rates of crime and violence are also high. We have whole armies of our brothers and sisters who do nothing all day but stab animals, kill animals, commodify, confine them, shock them. And so that's work that brings out the worst in them. Those workers have very high levels of violence, high drug addiction, alcoholism, suicide. Slaughterhouse employment levels were related to significant increases in the total arrest rate. Some of those researchers noticed increases in domestic violence and child abuse in particular. The literature in that area tends to indicate that somewhere between 46 and 80 percent of uh, women samples report that their pets were also abused by their partner. Many of the social impacts are invisible to so many people who buy meat in the grocery store and don't realize that eating meat uh, and being connected to this pathological system of meat production impacts directly the lives of people who work inside of them and who live near them. When a person partake in a direct or indirect killing of any sentient being, be it human or animals, he or she enters the cycle of revenge and violence. And it will only end when one stops doing it. A vegetarian diet is non-violence in the highest sense, and a vegetarian diet is love in action. Since time immemorial, non-violence is always emphasized as a way of life, as a way we should live, if we really want heaven on earth. We have compassion for animals. That also means compassion for us. Be veg, go green, save the planet.